don't. She thinks she's going to be the star of the show. Sit here and don't do anything, okay? Or you're not going to be able to come again, okay? All right, baby. Fire away. Nick, what were your emotions like uh, on that final play? Yeah, gosh, those, I mean, football's not such an unbelievable game. There's highs, there's lows, and sometimes it may, it brings you to tears of joy. Sometimes it brings you to tears, um, but just so happy there, guys. I mean, it was obviously the plays that before that that led to that, them being in a kind of a desperation at the end. Um, great job by our defensive line uh, to get pressure near the, there at the end of the game. Try to impress on everybody that this was just another game. Watching you and now seeing you, I just don't think this was just another game. Yeah, hey, I'm the same. I, I, I feel like I'm the same guy every day. Uh, you know, now that we've played the game and uh, the game's over, it's always a little cooler when you, when you win against a really good football team and, and the really good football team being Dallas. And I know that means a lot to our fans. Uh, got a lot of respect for those players and coaches over there. Um, man, um, a lot, lot of, lot of, it was a good battle back and forth, and it was, it's cool to be, again, like I said, it's cool to be a part of that, um, that rivalry. What happened with Jalen when he had to uh, leave? You called the timeout, came back in. Uh, he's okay. Yeah, nah, he's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, was he? No. I mean, why was he almost falling over on the ground? You can ask him. I think he, I think he was, I think he's okay. He, he played an unbelievable game. Um, Really accurate uh, the entire game. Went to the place, right place with the ball, uh, the all game, and uh, you know he, he. You saw how he played after that, so um, he's good. Did he change the play calling uh, and get a third down? He ran for a couple ones after that, so uh, just let him go out there and ball. What is what does Brandon Graham do to stay fresh and productive at this stage of his career? What do you guys do to kind of help? Him? Uh, you know, again. Uh, he's such an important part of this football team. Um, the player, the person, the leader, the captain. Um, when he makes a play like that, like he, he made today, I, I promise you that everybody feeds off of that and everybody feels that because our guys are so excited when, when he makes a play. And, uh, you know, he does a great job of taking care of his body. Um, our trainers, our strength staff, our doctors do a great job of helping him take care of his body, and uh, that's why he's playing so successful and so, and so at such a high level at, a, at a, uh, later stages of his career. Um, when you get to the later stages of career, it's again, it's about his maintenance. It's about playing with fundamentals and, and technique, and, and um, it's about playing with great passion. And nobody does that more than BG. I know you said Jalen's fine, but he's obviously been dealing with something. Looked like he got knocked again today. Do you approach this week coming up here to say let's give him as much rest as we can possibly? We're going to give all the guys rest, um, and he'll be one of the guys that benefits from our rest. Um, this is an important week for us to self scout. Uh, this is important for our player week for our players to take some time away from the game. Um, I, you know, we we never can fully take time away. Are you you making faces, baby? We never can. She's been waiting for this moment since last year's NFC Championship game. I didn't let her come last last time. Uh, she's here now. Um, but you know, we'll take some time away from it, and uh, it's it's hard to just you know we'll, we'll take some time away from it as coaches. But you know, I know our guys, and I know they'll be intertwined into you know whether it's um, I know I'll get texts from our guys on Saturday during during the uh, college football. Games. I know I'll get texts from them on Sunday. I know I'll get texts from them on on Tuesday when Maction is going on. I think my buddy uh, Jason Candle is playing in Maction this week. I'm looking forward to watching his game as well. Um, but when you got a got group of guys that just wants to continue to get better, um, they'll take they'll take away time with their bodies. But I know they'll be given they'll be uh, have attention on a lot of games this week. What do you want to do during the bye, girl? You have you have some time off too. You got fall break this week. What do you want to do during this week? What's one thing you want to do during this week? You want to get Chick Fil A? <laughs> Chick Fil A. No, I didn't say that. I don't, okay, relax. How many times did the plan change on CD? Man, he's a, he's a really outstanding player. Obviously, he, he did a good job today. They got him the ball a lot, threw it to him a lot. Um, yeah, we tried to d give him some different looks. Uh, but 
again, it, 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 he makes it, him and Dak make it difficult to, to take him away just because of how good they are and how much rhythm and how much chemistry they have. It's, I'm really impressed by that. You know, I, I think the I think the world of Dak Prescott, I think the world of uh, of C D Lamb and and they and they had a good game today and but we, we you know, we tried to throw some different wrinkles at them, um, you know, trying to slow them down. On the, you were, on the final were, drive, how big was Josh's sack and I guess what are the emotions like? Man, it was huge, but man, he got like he started to celebrate. Like, good thing his celebration's quick. Like, man, I'm like, get back out there. You know, I think a couple weeks ago, just to you know, we don't mess around as far as situational football. A couple weeks ago, Notre Dame had a play where their guys were celebrating like that, and and Coach Freeman had to call a timeout. And obviously, we didn't have any timeouts there, so I'm trying to get them back. But huge play, huge, huge play. And that's what you expect. That's what that's what good. That's what really good players do in in, in crunch, um, in crunch moments uh, is make plays like that. And he made an enormous play, in a huge moment because right the clock ticks. The they're third and twenty one now. Um, it puts them in a rush right there. Like I thought they were. I thought they were going to spike it too. And then they ended up to play one more play. But you know we had to be ready to go the next play. And. Uh, Man, that was huge, and and Josh Sweat just continues to have a a, a really impressive year, um, you know. And those two guys feed off each other, Josh and, and Hassan, because it's hard to take one away if you if you pay attention too much to one, the other guy makes a play. And so, um, man, I couldn't think about anybody. We wouldn't want anyone else rushing our path, rushing the passer besides the guys that we have. And man, they they played they played big in some big moments today. Um, you know, and and and, they're, and at times their O line did a good job as well, and gave Dak time to throw. But in big, big moments, our our guys really really stepped up, and when they needed to, and I think they, you know, they had a big first half with 17 points, and then six points in the second half. And so, um, you know, our defense really really rose to the occasion in, in the second half, and that's, and, you know, that's not the first time this year that that we've had a, a really impressive second half. You were yeah, 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 for it twice on the opening drive on fourth down. I'm sorry. On the opening drive, I believe you went for it on. Down twice. Was that intentional? Wanted to be aggressive earlier? Was that situational? Where they came? Yeah, it's the confidence in our guys. Um, you know, um, that, that's just confidence in our guys. The confidence in in the in the play call. Brian and I talk a lot about those play calls um, leading into that. Into that, um, you don't make decisions on the spur of the moment. You know what's coming. Um, now things change during the game, but that's just confidence in the guys. The play call that we have, and uh, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's it. Jalen threw it up to AJ. Um, was that the call there to go deep there? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I, I just think I, you know I'll have to look at the tape. It looked like AJ just didn't see the ball. They couldn't find the ball, um, and so you know. You know, in those situations, Jeff, there, there's times where it's time to throw it short. There's times to throw it deep. You got to feel how the defensive backs are playing all games, because you know, well, why not go to the sticks? Well, sometimes they squat at the sticks, right? And sometimes they grab at the sticks and all those different things. So it's time to go deep, you know. And I think this week, you know, at third and three, we did that. Last week on fourth and three, we did that. We ended up getting a uh, pass interference in the end zone right before we uh, had the turnover on the quarterback sneak. And so. Sometimes it's the time to, you know, go past the sticks. Sometimes it's the time to go way past the sticks, and sometimes it's the time to go to the sticks. Um, and you know, I thought I thought it was a good call uh, by Brian. I thought it was a good ball by Jalen. And and sometimes, you know, you know, I thought AJ had his eyes around in, in the right timing. Um, but sometimes, you know, you just you, you don't get it. But I know this: it, when when you are aggressive like that, it opens up everything. And Shoot, AJ Brown's been on a tear um, with the ball vertically um, in this past, uh, you know, five games, and so I was, I, you know, hey, they got us on that one. Two more, please. Jalen's numbers have been incredible on a banked up knee. How do you explain the success that he's had despite being what we would assume to be limited playing that way? Yeah, you know, again, he's tough. He's tough as heck. Um, he's never been on the uh, injury report though because his. his uh, his play status has never been in doubt, and uh, great leader, great player, rises to the occasion in big time moments. Um, shoot, uh, you know, just that's who he is. And so, um, you know, whether his body's feeling 100%, whether his body's feeling you're not feeling 100%, and which nobody's body is at this particular time, um, he's he's a warrior. He's going to play through bumps and bruises, and and he's going to play at a high level because he's a big time player.
I didn't laugh earlier. I'll get you. I'll get you. You guys get so upset when I don't get your question. You know I'm going to come back to you and get your question. <laughs> I, they, they trapped me over here. They trapped me over here. Here's the thing. You guys are 8-1. You had, you had to tough out a lot of games. You know, that hasn't been easy. What does it say about your team, the fact that you kind of won through some of these tough games? And, and what do you guys have to do to be even better in the second half of the season? It, there's, always, there's always room for improvement. Um, always room for improvement. <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> There's always room for improvement, and uh, we'll continue to work on things, the details, the, the ball security, the ability to take the football away. You know, that's, that's something we're going to continue to work on. Um, what Bill Parcells say, you are what your record says you are. So we're in a good spot right now, and uh, we're going to enjoy this bye week at 8-1, and one, and we're going to get ready for the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, who obviously is a great football team, and um, and just continue to try to bust our butts to to get better each day. When you're when you're truly in that mindset and you're willing to get better each day, no matter how you feel, that's that's got to be the mindset. I'm tired today. Oh, we're eight and one today. Oh, we're two and eight today. Whatever the heck it is, you have to be in a mind. It's 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 a mental challenge, and you have to be mentally tough. To, to say, I'm going to get better today, and I'm going to treat today the same way I treated the other day, regardless of how I feel today. And so, <laughs> you're funny, you And so that's our mission, and that's our goal. And our goal, I know there are going to be a lot of chatter about this and that. Oh, oh the, you know, now they got this lead, and, and, they're, and they have the best record in MC. We don't care about any of that. All we care about is how we get better to win our next game, um, how we rest our bodies this week, how we get, go 1-0 and each day the following week to try to go 1-0 and against the Kansas City Chiefs. And that's our mission because there's this huge mountain to climb. But you can't climb the mountain all in one week. And when you look up that mountain and you start to just look up at how much more you got to climb, that's what makes you slip. When you, when you do that. And so your, your steps have to be, your head has to be down, your, your focus has to be on the mountain, your focus has to be on your next step, and that will be our next practice and this week take, uh, rest in our bodies. Last one. You mentioned Lamb uh, a little bit, how good he is, Nick, but that's tough duty for guys like Sidney and Eli. When you see rookies persevere like that, fight through, what does that mean to you? As a yeah, you know, we, we have faith in these guys. That's why we drafted Sidney. That's why we picked up Eli in, in, uh, in free agency. That's why they made the football team, and that's why they're playing in these critical moments. And we've been banged up on the secondary, no doubt. Um, but, you know, again, at the end of the day, like, you can you, – there's times you will bleed out in the pass game, but to give up six points against a, in the second half, like a team like that, that's what was impressive. And so – um, now, you get that a little bit, right, because if the game was different and we didn't have the lead, maybe they go for a field goal here and there, and maybe you give up more in six points, but that's not how the game was played right there. And so I know what the stats say. I do feel that they're, they, play, they did, they did on Dallas had a, they played a really good game, uh, you know, especially in the past game. Um, but our guys made plays in, in crunch situations, and those two young guys made plays in crunch situations. And they were there, and they were contesting, um, and, they were in, and they were in good spots. And then sometimes good offense beats good defense. I mean, we know that. I mean, we see that on a consistent – we saw, we, you know, this city can go back and, and see Allen Iverson, um, you know, good offense beat good defense. I shoot, I just, I just met J.J. Redick in the hallway. I know, that, I know that for a fact there was a lot of guys with hands in his face. I see him make a ton of jump shots with guys in his face. That was good defense, but sometimes good offense beats good defense. And that's, and that's the same thing here. But I was proud of the way they continued to fight and continued to have, um, you know, to just keep fighting for the next play. Um, and our guys did that. They had dog mentality. Shoot, we had a pass interference call on the first play of the of the with 45 seconds left to put them at midfield, and they just kept refocusing themselves. Because all that matters is they played that next play, the next play, the next play, and it, and you saw what happened. Um, and great resiliency by our guys. All right, thanks.